We be the warriors, the most high sin, so you know there is no destroying us. Ordained from the womb, prophets back from the tomb to cast out all these false doctrines. Read on. Curse shall thou be in the city. So cursed, he said, curse shall thou be in the city. Read, read that again from top and then finish. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. And curse shall thou be in the field. So he said, curse shall thou be in the city. And curse shall thou be in the field. In the city. Right now, today. In any city you go to in America, who do you find to be in the worst parts of the cities? What nation of people? Us. And the so-called Latinos, the Mexicans. Us, right? So the Bible said, curse you gonna be in the city. Only the Israelites. These curses to the Israelites. Nobody else on the face of the earth are gonna go through these curses. But the Israelites. So it said, curse shall you be in the field. Who was cursed? Give me that sign, bro. I think it's under here. Who was cursed in the fields? Weren't we the people who were cursed in the on the plantation fields? Yeah. In the rice fields, the corn fields, yeah. the cotton fields. Yeah. That was us cursed. Yeah. Working from sun up to sundown yeah. without pay. And if you didn't bring in enough, they'll kill you. Yeah. If you try to read a book, they'll cut your tongue out. Cut your hand. We will be. We was the ones that were cursed in the fields, and we still right. cursed in the field today. In the work field, go look for a job and see how long it's gonna take you to get one. Last hired, first fire. That's us. Read on. Verse seventeen. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. So it said, curse shall be your basket and your store. What's a basket? What you do with a basket? You keep stuff in it. So, so if our basket is going to be cursed, where are our belongings today? The things that really belong to us that's going to prosper our people in the end. When we die, our basket still going to have things in it to prosper our generations to come. Where is that stuff for the black man and the black woman? Where are our chains? Our chains of grocery stores, our mom and pop stores. I know when you was young, you used to remember the moms and pop stores. I used to stay right down there on Corn Street. There used to be Louise store right there on Pendleton and Corn. You don't see Louise no more. It's gone. It's been gone. Cause they were shooting it up every night. But that's a curse. Cause we in the lowest, we in the poorest spots in the city. So that's a whole. That's a. That, that's a big curse on our people right there. How can you prosper like that? It was set up by the hands of God. That's right. Curse shall be your, your store. Read that again. Verse 17. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. So curse shall be your store. Where are our stores? Like I just asked. Where are they? We don't have none. We don't own the Walmarts. The Krogers, the Family Dollars, other nations own those places. Bring it out, Art. So it's a curse should be your store. Give me, give me a uh, thirty-two. This is another curse that Moses told the children of Israel would happen to them if they didn't listen to God's words. Read on, verse thirty-two. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Who did that happen to? Whose sons and daughters were given into another people? Our sons and daughters in slavery. They got us off that ship, put us on the auction block. They used to call the big black man a buck, didn't they? Let me get this big strong buck. 50, 30, 60, 70 sold to Master Charles in West Virginia. Read on. And thine eyes shall look at them with longing for them. All the day long. They said your eyes will look and fail with longing mean that you will be crying all the day long. That happened to our people. You know you've seen Roots and 12 Years a Slave. That woman couldn't stop crying. That's a true, that's a true story. You don't see Roots. We're still crying. Still crying over it. 
Right. All the praises, man. I'm, I'm, gl I'm glad you, you listen and understanding these words right here. Because our people still going through these curses today. We ain't got to bag up to, to the history. Because these things still going on. Because when they say our, our kings be giving it to another people, they still giving it to other people right now. We can't slip up a little bit in our neighborhoods with our kids. They'll come take them. They looking for a reason. Because it's a, it's, a, it's a destruction factor for the so-called black man, which are Israelites. They know who we are. Yes, right. But it's us that don't know who we are. That's what Isaiah Thank 1 and 3 said. Right. 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 Oh, stop it. Yes, you, you're right. Give me, give me right. a 48. Yeah. Right. Right. Verse 48. Therefore shall they serve thy enemies. So the other curse is, therefore shall we serve our enemies. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Which the Most High God will send against us. He sent them against us because we was disobedient. This thing didn't just happen to a whole nation of people that easy. We were strong people. It had to be the hand of God to allow some weak old white men to come over and take us. And it wasn't just them, the weak old African man. When you see them at these stores, they look weak as hell compared to our young men. So how, how was this able to happen? It was the hands of God. Read right. it from the top again. Verse 48. Therefore shall they serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So we're going to have to serve our enemies that the Lord had, that the Lord would send against us in what? In hunger. In hunger. When we want to get something to eat, every, every grocery store we go to are, is not owned by our people. So we serving them. We are making them rich. Every first of the month, we make them richer. And through the month, we make them rich. Read on. And then thirst. And then thirst. When you when you go to the store, get a Dasani, an Aquafina. When you cut your water on in the house. When you want to drink anything, a Sprite or Pepsi. They own that. Our people don't own it. It's not our people's getting rich off these bottled waters, off these bottled drinks at all. So we was we are serving them in that way. Read on. And the nakedness. And in nakedness. Who own these textile companies that make these clothes, put these fabrics together and put them in these stores? Bring not it our out. people. Bring it out. It's another nation of people getting rich off this. We are serving them in that way. Why is it? Huh? We sold it to them. We sold it? We sold them everything. Do you know about slavery? Yeah, I know about slavery. So we were brought over here in slavery. How did we sell them things that we sold it to them to slavery? Oh, so you saying that a you saying that in Africa? Yeah, a black man sold it. I'm gonna tell you something, bro. They the same color as us, but we are not the same they come, people. They come from ham. They come from ham, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. All praises. I know, but everything is see, it ain't a So you do you think we we come from ham? No, we come from, we come from Right, so, 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 so what you just said is a contradiction. You said we sold each other out. But if, if they're not us, how we sell each other out? So why the Jews shot out to kill Jesus? He was one of us, right? He was from the tribe of Judah, right? You, you, you jumping on that. No, I'm saying. Bagged up to what you just said. Because it was, it was Jesus' purpose to come and die for his people. Anyway, from the jump. So, bag up to what you just said, brother. They're not us. We are not the same people. Give me uh, Exodus 11, 7. Read on. Exodus chapter 11, verse 7. But against any other children of Israel. But against any other children of Israel. Shall not a dog move his tongue. An animal better not move his tongue against us. Read. Against man or beast, uh -huh. then ye may know how the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. So that's just for your edification. The Lord had put a difference for, between the Egyptians and Israel because He said He know. But evidently, the young man don't know the Bible. I'm glad you walked I, up. I do know. I do know. So how do we sell ourselves out? Give me Deuteronomy 28, 15. This is how we sold exactly, ourselves out, exactly brother. As we 
wanted the golden cows and the uh, wilderness. All of that. That's the same true, reason true. Or, the, or the reason why we sell each other out now. Like, we'll go blame the white man for shooting the brother down. Mm -hmm. But we sit here killing each other. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's right. Give me, give me dude around the 28. Don't protest and, uh, it, it ain't about racism at all. Because it's a white people. Here. 49. We good. This is it, bro. You right. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 49. Uh -huh. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. So the Bible said the Lord shall bring a nation against us from far. Dude, from God's hand, he going to bring a nation to us against us. Right. So God did it, but it was our it was fault. The Gentiles. Right. No, no, no. The yeah, the Gentiles. That's right. The heathens. Yeah. That's right. The Lord shall bring a nation Against thee from far, uh -huh. from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyeth. As swift as the eagle flyeth. You know who that is, right? Who symbol is the eagle? That's uh, the Egyptians. They come from the Egyptians. Is that sign over there? They come from the Egyptians, come from the European doctors. Who symbol is the eagle and has always been the eagle? They came from the Egyptians. The Greeks. Their symbol was the eagle, the so-called white man. The Romans, the so-called white man, has always been the eagle. Bring it out! The Spanish corn, which the real Spaniards are white. Right. Those people who speak Spanish now, they are not really Spaniards. Right? You know that. They were conquered by the conquistadors. Bring it out! Exactly. Neftali. And the American corn. It's all the same. The same people. Read that again. Verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. Uh -huh. From the end of the earth. Uh -huh. As swift as the eagle flyeth. Uh -huh. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Because when they came to get us, we didn't understand what they were saying. When they brought us over here, we couldn't understand their words. Read. That's when he broke up the Hebrew language. Verse 50. A nation of fierce countenance. A nation of fierce countenance. Right now you can still see that they've got their fierce countenance on them. That's why they're shooting our sons and daughters down. Because it's from the hands of the Most High God. It's, it's ultimately, like you said, our fault. Because we, we did not do what he said do. Let me see something real quick. I know you came up here, bro. You made a whole lot of statements that you don't understand. You said our, it was our people that sold Christ out, but they had to happen though. Our people did sell Christ out. He only died for our sins though. Christ was offered up for a sacrifice of sins, but I want to show you some. Give me John 8 verse 31 first. Because did all Jews, did all the Jews sell Christ out? Yeah, I'm going to prove that real quick. Give me John 8 verse 31 first. And then I'm going to show you in the scriptures that this had to happen according to Paul. One thing about it, bro, I'm telling you, we got a school located down the street, 1661 Lamar. You got to subdue your own understanding, bro, when you come up here. We live this bow. We live this. But listen to this. Listen to this, bro. Now, it ain't in your, it ain't, the new covenant ain't in play yet. It ain't in your heart, bro. But the scriptures say, let me show you something. Listen to this real quick. Listen first, bro. Listen. Let us teach you, bro. You got to be retaught. Listen, bro. John chapter 8, verse 31. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. So the some of the Jews believed on him. What tribes was called Jews? And what else? And which one else? And what was the other tribes called? Huh? What else was they called? No, nah, hold on. What else was they called? Other than the northern kingdom of Israel. What else was they called? They was called Gentiles. And let me prove that. Go to John 7 verse 35. Matter of fact, go to John 12 verse 42 first. So it was some Jews that believed on Christ, right? So now, that was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. We ain't talking about the rest of the tribes because the rest of the tribe were called Gentiles by who? By the Jews. Listen to this, bro. John 12, bro. Give him a Bible, y'all, because he, give him a Bible. Read what you got. John! That's what you need, though. If you're going to teach the Bible, you need the Bible, bro. You can't, you can't speak from your own head. Listen to this. Read what you got. We put the Bible together. We, hey, give me my other book out of there. I've been a King James was a black man. Before he was King James first of England, he was King James six of Scotland. So in 16, but hold on, listen to this, listen to this. King, yeah. Right? Nah, no, uh, hey, look, we ain't worried about that. This God gave us the word, but listen to this, though. Listen to this, right? John chapter 8, 12, verse 42. John chapter 12, verse 42. Nevertheless, 
among the chief rulers, also many believed on him. But because of the Pharisees, but because of who? But because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him. So a lot of people, a lot of the Jews believe on because of script by scribes and Pharisees. They won't confess Christ. Now, let me show you something. Give me to, uh, Romans chapter, I think it's chapter, give me Romans 12. That's why Paul And I'm just going to get, give me to Romans 12, verse 11. Now, before I go into this, hold Romans 12, verse 11 for me. Give me John 7, verse 35. I'm going to show you something, bro. Just listen to me, bro. We teach this, we live this. I watch our videos. All right, all praises. Well, then, if you watch that, you already know. So you know me then. You know how I get down. But you see, I'm being patient with you. I want you to listen, bro. We do this. We just open up. We just open our 17th school up. Because we do this. We This is our way of life. This ain't no religion. This ain't that Christian church down the street. This is how we live. We keep God. I keep God's commandments every day, 24-7. That's right. It ain't no change to this. Now, listen, we live this history because this is us. This is our way of life. Now, listen to this. Read. John chapter 7, verse 35. Then said the Jews among themselves. Then said Judah, Benjamin, and Levi amongst themselves, because that's who was called the Jews, read. Whither will he go that we shall not find him? Where he gonna go when we can't find him? Listen to this, read. Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles? He said, will he go to the dispersed among the Gentiles? Who was dispersed among the Gentiles? Huh? Yeah, uh, what, what kingdom? What else? Who? The northern kingdom of Israel. So listen to what he said. Listen to what he called the dispersed among the Gentiles. Read that again. Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? So what was them dispersed Israelites called amongst the Gentiles? I mean, yeah, what they were called amongst the Gentiles? African. Listen to him. Listen to him again, bro. Listen, bro. Listen. Listen. Pay attention, bro. Hey, I'm going to ask you again. If you can't ask me, I'm going to ask the sisters. Listen to this. Listen. Read it from the top again. Verse 35. Then said the Jews among themselves, Whither will he go that we shall not find him? Where he going to go that we can't find him? Will he do what? Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles? Will he go to them dispersed Israelites among the Gentiles and what? And teach the Gentiles. What was the dispersed Israelites among the Gentiles called? And he going to do what? Teach the Gentiles. What was the dispersed Israelites among the Gentiles called? Gentiles. They was called Gentiles. Now go to Romans. Listen to me, bro. I'm telling you, bro, we live this. Now, Ecclesiastes 5 and 1 say keep your foot when you go into the house of God. Apparently, you got questions. We'll let you ask your questions, but I want you to listen. It's a lot of stuff that you don't know you need to learn. You say you know we located and come in. You're welcome to come in anytime, bro. I see you know who you are. But knowing who you are ain't just one thing, bro. You got to keep God's commands. Now listen to this. Let's go to Romans. What I tell you? Romans 11. I'm going to get straight to the point. Start at verse 11 for me. Yeah, now listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen. Paul's so deep, bro. We don't like going into Paul because a lot of people don't understand Paul. Now, what was the dispersed Israelites among the Gentiles called, y'all? That was called Gentiles. Now, you know, now when you get into the New Testament, you know who salvation to the Gentiles for. That's why I say not to the Jews only, but to who? The Gentiles, the Lord of the Kingdom of Israel. Now listen to this, read. Romans chapter 11, verse 11. I say then, how they stumbled. Talking about the North Southern Kingdom leadership. Talking about the Jews, how they what? How they stumbled that they shall fall. God forbid. It mean no. How they stumbled that they shall fall. Because what they do, they gave up Christ to get killed. Read up. But rather... Through, through their fall, but, but rather through they fall, through them giving up Christ to be killed, we salvation is come unto the Gentiles. Salvation came through the northern kingdom of Israel. Cause what happened in uh the book of Hosea? Uh, they, they, uh, keep them out of the, uh, then what he said, and what God said, you ain't my what? And he said, I ain't what? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't your God. So when you ain't, if God ain't your people, and He your God, who you become? You become a Gentile. Gentile. Yeah, damn best of the devil because that's who these Gentiles is. So now that's why he said, have, have the Jews stumbled that they should fall? He said, no, God forbid, but rather what? But rather their fall, but rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles. 
for to provoke them to jealousy. To provoke the northern kingdom of the southern kingdom of Israel, which is the Jews, unto uh, jealousy. Read on. Verse 12. Now, if the fall of them, if the fall of them be what? Be the richest of the world. Since, uh, since the southern kingdom leadership failed. Talk about the chief priests, scribes, and Pharisees and offered up Christ to be killed. If the fall of them be the richest of the world, meaning the whole northern kingdom, the whole 12 tribes of Israel can receive the kingdom now. Read. And the diminishing of them, the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their full foot. How much more the food is because now, through they fall, through them opening up Christ to get killed, now all Israel can gain salvation because God told them, you ain't my God, you I ain't your people. I mean, he said, I ain't your God, you ain't my people. Matter of fact, he said, I ain't going to have no mercy on you. He said, but I'm going to utterly take them away. But on the Jews, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, I'm going to have mercy. Right. I'm going to have mercy. Now I want to show you something else. Now read on, read on, read on. Hold on, hold on, read on. Verse 13. For I spake to you Gentiles, inasmuch as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify my office. If by any means I may provoke the emulation that which are my flesh. You heard he said, which are my flesh. My flesh, who is his flesh? What was Paul? Paul was an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. So he came, he said, you know that he, uh, who he teaching them Gentiles is his flesh. Read on. It might say some of them. Read. For if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world. So if the casting away of the Jews, the Judah, Benjamin, and Levi be the reconciling of the world. Talking about the whole nation of Israel. Because in order for you to reconcile something, what it means? It had to be together one time before. Remember, we divided into two, uh, into two kingdoms. So it had to be the to In order to reconcile something, it got to come back up, uh, come back together again. Read on. What shall the receiving of them be? But life from the dead. But now they have received life from the dead, life from Christ. Because why? Give me Matthew chapter 27. Check this out. Matthew chapter 27. First start at 26 verse 26. The Bible so deep, bro. A lot of our people ain't going to understand it. You know what I'm saying? You got to be keeping the commands to understand what's going on. I don't even like touching Paul writes. Paul writes still getting people killed because they think God's law is done away with. And they don't know when he's talking about the law done away with, it's talking about the law of sacrifice. That's it. Check this out. Listen to it. Matthew 26. Let me say. Matthew 26. Verse 26. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying, Drink ye all of it. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. So he let you know that his blood represents the remission of sins. Now give me Matthew 27 verse 25. Listen to this. So I'm going to show you some. Because you said we offered them up. We had, it had to happen like that. Because he said the fallen them be the richest of the world. Christ got offered up so all 12 tribes can re receive salvation and to repent of their sins. Because remember, it wasn't no mercy on the northern kingdom of Israel. It wasn't no mercy on the house of Ephraim. Listen to this now. Matthew chapter 27, verse 25. Then answered all the people and said, His blood be on us and on our children. He said, His blood be on us and our children. Because jump up. Let's see what happened. Jump up to verse, uh, and, uh, let me see, 20. Listen to this. Going right back to what we read in. John 12 verse 42. Check this out. Listen. Verse 20. But the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitude. Well, now the chief priests and the elders, what we was reading about, they just like I said, a lot of people believe Christ, but they didn't want to confess. But they persuaded the multitude to do what? That they should take, that they should ask Barabbas. That they should ask for Barabbas and do what? And destroy Jesus. And to destroy Jesus. Read it out. The governor answered and said unto them, Whither of the twine will ye that I release unto you? Oh, now here come the white man talking about, look, which one you want me to release to, release to you? Do you want me to release Barabbas or do you want me to release Jesus, read? They said Barabbas. Pilate said unto them, what shall I do then with Jesus, which is called Christ? They all said unto him, let him be crucified. Let him be crucified. They had the episode. Yeah, the Jews said that, not the northern kingdom. 
Yeah, that's what we're going to read on. That's why I watch what the white man going to do. And the governor said, Why? What evil hath he done? But they cried out and more saying, Let him be crucified. When Pilate saw that, he could prevail nothing. But the rather a turmoil was made. He took water. See how he did what he took water and did what? And washed his hands before the multitude saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. You know what this white man said? I'm innocent of the blood of this just person. His blood is for what? What we just read in Matthew 26 to 6. Remission of sins. He said, I'm innocent of this blood. Read on. See ye to it. Then answered all the people and said, His blood be on us and for our children. His blood be on us and our children. The Jews and the twelve tribes of Israel. That's why I'm not going right back to Romans 11 and 11. You see how deep I had to just go just to show you why he was offered up for our sins when you said our people so Yeah, our people so uh, Christ out. It's the truth. Just like you said, we always killing each other. So we can't, let's not sit up here and act like we ain't going to believe that we killed Christ. Uh, look what Judas did for some money. Think about what your boy do to you for some money. You know what I'm saying? 30 pieces of silver. But it had to happen though. It was prophecy. Because go to Acts chapter 3 verse 18. Let me show you something. It had to happen, bro. It had to happen. Listen to this. Acts chapter 3 verse 18. But those things which God before he showed by much of all his prophets. Thus Christ should suffer. That Christ should suffer, read. He has so fulfilled. He had to come suffer for us. Why? Give me Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53. I'm going to show you something. Let's go to the prophecy. Let's see what's going to happen. Let's see why he had got killed. We had to all come. Remember on the whole company sacrifice when we see what we had to do. We had to offer a sacrifice. So Christ came and died for our sins on. No more bulls and goats. No more bulls and goats. Hebrews 10 and 4. Because it's not possible that they can do what? Take away sins. Now look, check this out. Listen to this. Read. Isaiah uh, started 3. Isaiah 53 verse 3. He is despised and rejected of men. Who was despised and rejected of men? We just was reading about it. Christ, read on. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid as our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Because remember said a lot of them believed on him, but they wouldn't confess him. We hid our faces from him then. Read on, but not no more. We out here confessing him in front of everybody. Read on. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him, we did esteem him, stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Because he was stricken and afflicted and uh, smitten of God. Read on. But he was wounded for our transgressions. They say he was wounded for our transgressions. He was, wo he was wounded for us breaking and violating God's laws. Read on. He was bruised for our, uh, for our iniquity. He was bruised for our sins. Read on. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. With his stripes we are healed. Through him dying for us. Now, if, it, if, it's, if it's dying be the richness of, I mean, the fullness of the world. I mean, uh, I, I don't want to butcher the scripture. But he died so all 12 tribes can be reconciled back together. Read on. Verse 6. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned away every one to his own way. And the Lord have laid him the iniquity of us all. It's saying the Lord have laid on him the iniquity of us all. The sin of us all. The Most High laid it on Christ now. He was wounded for our transgressions. So he had to be offered up. He had to, he had to die. That's what he came to fulfill. Dying for the nation of Israel. I know it's messed up but that was the prophecy. He had to do it. Read on. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before the shearers is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. He was cut out for the land of the living. This is a prophecy that we're reading about Christ in the book of Isaiah coming and dying for the nation of Israel. Read on. For the transgression of my people. So he was cut out from the land of the living for the transgression of who? Of my people. Who is God's people? The twelve tribes of Israel. Read on. Was he stricken? 
and he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death because he had done no violence neither was any deceit in his mouth you can read about that in first peter chapter 2 verse 21 and 22 read on yet it pleased the lord it did what it pleased the lord it pleased the lord to do what to bruise him and what else he hath put him to grief when thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin he shall see his seed he shall prolong his days and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. So you see why it had to happen, bro? It was prophecy that we got to give Christ, that uh, that we sold Christ out. It was prophecy. So what, you had a question? Yeah, I was going to say, like, you know, when he uh, passed away on the, uh, they, when they crucified him. Yeah. Why did he uh, pray to the Father and say, why had that forsaken Because he still had doubts, too. He still had doubts. Yeah, that flesh. Was yeah, that flesh. Give me uh, Matthew 26, verse 41. I'm going to show you something, bro. He had doubts. It's just that flesh. He didn't want, he didn't want to die, but he already knew the whole time he got to drink up this cup. He got to drink up this cup, so I'm going to show you. Uh, I think it's Matthew 26, verse 41. Let me make See, I'm sure. A baby, I'm just yeah, bro. Hey. Yeah, and and these some babies up here, too. I'm going to show you something. You know what? Excuse me. Uh, okay. I have to go. Guess what? Yeah. Guess what? Hey, that's what we're doing. Teacher. And that's why you see I'm teaching. Yeah. yeah. All praise. Now look, check this out. I'm coming. All praise. Hey, you check us out, sir. Check us out. Now listen to this, bro. Now listen. Now you ask this question. Now look, listen to what he said. Start at verse uh start at verse 40 for me. Listen to this. Matthew 26, verse 40. And he cometh unto the disciples and findeth them asleep. And saith unto Peter, What? Could you not watch with me one hour? So he said, Look, what, what's wrong with y'all? You couldn't watch with me one hour. Listen to what he's saying now. Listen. Watch and pray. Then ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing. His spirit indeed was willing. He knew what he came to do. Because remember when Peter chopped off that man's ear and uh, Peter said, No, nah, uh, this Christ said, No, it ain't time for that. This cup that's in my hand, I got to drink it. I got to die for y'all. Read up. But the flesh is weak. The spirit is willing and the flesh is weak, bro. Just like all of us, all of your flesh get weak. But your spirit willing. You will learn these laws, statutes, and commands. Your spirit, your spirit willing to keep going on. But the temptation, yep, the, the, uh, the temptation in the flesh, that's what keeps breaking our people down. That's what broke us down back in. Read up. Verse 42. He went away saying the second time and prayed saying. Listen to this. Oh my father, oh my father, listen to what Christ praying to the most I say. Oh my father, what? If this cup may not pass away from me. He asked the most high, look, man, look, please let this cup pass. He said, this cup may not pass away from me. Read. Except I drink it, they will be done. He said, except I be I drink it, they will be done. Read that again from the top. Verse 42. He went away saying. He went away again the second time and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. He said, Thy will be done. He wanted that cup to be passed away from him. So that's why he had doubts. That's why the scripture says you got to have faith and doubt not. That's why he said the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Christ came down here and walked in the flesh and showed us that, look, you can do this. You can make it through this. You can keep God's commandments. He let me. He told you, yeah, my spirit, uh, my, uh, my, 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 uh, my spirit willing. He said, let your will be done. But if you can take this cup away from me, if it can just pass away from me, that's why he said, Eli, Eli, uh, Shama, uh, Bacha, Machi. Uh, I think I said it right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But look, <laughs> that's why he said that because he he he, wanna, he, he didn't want to die. Every man fears death. But when you go into the scriptures, it, it teaches you something about death. It tells you better, uh, better than uh, uh, better than, uh, the better the, uh, the day of, the day of one's death is better than the day of one's birth. So look, what what we in now? Read it, verse verse uh, forty three. Listen, verse forty three. And he came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. And he left them and went away again. And prayed the third time, saying the same words. He went again, uh, praying the same time, the same words, bro. 
So Christ, he, he, he wasn't ready though. He wasn't ready. But he said, if I got to do this, let thy will be done. So the spirit willing and the flesh is weak. You got any more questions? We're going to wrap it up, bro. I, I have one quick. Okay. Like, I say, uh, in the beginning, said, so don't make any graven images. And Let me show you know. something. Give me uh, Leviticus real quick. I mean, give me Exodus chapter 2, verse, uh, start at verse, I mean, Exodus chapter 20, start at verse 3. So, no graven images. Yeah, they're like to the process. Yeah. saying nothing wrong with you, but That's true. That's true, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to show you something. Now, look. How many commandments is in Exodus? I know, I'm talking about Exodus chapter 20, though. It's about 10 commandments in Exodus 20. Yeah, we know it's more law. We know that because this is a law right here, Numbers 15, verse 38. This is a law, Leviticus 19, verse 20. Uh, I mean, 21, verse 25. Yeah, I mean, five. Yeah, it's a lot of laws. So now, look, I'm talking about just in, I'm talking about the Ten Commandments. Check this out. Listen to this, read. Start in three. This is the first commandment, read. Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. Thou shalt not have no other gods before me. And most I said, we least want to entertain the thought of another God. That's why somebody come up and tell me, our lie, we're going to bash if they come up and talk about Buddha, we're going to bash him. If they come up and talk about any other God than the Heavenly Father, the Most High, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Earth, the Creator of the Heavens and Earth, uh, I mean, uh, what I said, I mean, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Creators of the Heaven and Earth, the first and the last, the beginning and the end, bro, and we're going to bash him down because that's the first commandment. Now, look, this is the second commandment. Four and five go together. I'm going to show you. Listen to this. This is the second commandment. Read. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image okay. or any likeness of anything that is in heaven. So you're supposed to make the likeness of anything that is in heaven, read. Mm -hmm. Or that, or that is in the earth beneath. Or that is in the earth beneath. Listen, you're supposed to have no images of that that's in heaven, right? And on earth. So listen to this. Let's read out. Or that is in the water under the earth or in the water under the earth read on so you're supposed to make no images to, uh so we're supposed to have no images at all right is that what they're saying okay read on thou shalt not bow down thyself to them this is what he tell you to do don't make no image of an angel and bow down to it don't make no image of a golden cow and bow down to it and what else nor serve them nor serve them Right there, sir, that you sign. Read it all. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, unvisiting, unvisiting the iniquity of the father upon the children unto the third and the fourth generation of them that hate me. So you don't supposed to make no image to bow down and worship them. We don't worship this image right there. I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.